everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back to tell you all about my first impressions of Prana's Chroma Silk Vivids. This is the first time I've used their semi-permanent color. I used red and magenta mostly on the top and violet on the bottom. However, I did mix some red and magenta in the bottom as well. I initially mixed all three together. I wanted a nice purplish red color, but I realized it was way too purple. So then I added a lot more red when I got to the top and, and magenta when I got to the top. So that's why I have this, I guess, two-tone look going on. It's not really what I was going for, but I do really like it. I did it yesterday, so I haven't washed it yet. I wanna give you guys a better sense of the color. It's it looks pretty black, but I assure you it is purple, well violet. Um, I'll insert some pictures here from sunlight, with sunlight. So when you get the dye, it comes in a box like this. It's this size. You have this amount of product. Depending on your hair density, you'll have to realize how much product you'll need. Being that I have thick, long locks, I needed maybe four tubes in total. I think I used about three quarters of the magenta tube, three tubes of red, and a half a tube of purple, of uh, violet, really, violet. And this is the result. I'm really liking it right now. I haven't gone out with it yet, so I have yet to get any, you know, feedback from outside people. <laughs> But I don't really care. I really like it. I think it looks good on me. I will come through with an update video maybe in a month to give you all an idea of, you know, how it is when it, when it comes to washing it out, bleeding onto clothes and things like that. That's really important. The reason why I chose this particular dye is because of the reviews that I saw. Most people said that they don't really experience bleeding. So that's, and that's really important. And they also said that this lasts a long time, that it's almost a permanent color, which, you know, I'm so here for. Shout outs to two of my subbies who recommended this color to me. Thank you so much. I'm loving it so far, so good. Um, yes, it is very staining, so be careful when you apply it to your hair. Be careful about the environment. I think I messed up my floors a little bit. Be very mindful of that. I made sure to wash it out mostly in the sink first so I didn't ruin my tub. Even though I did hear that, um, you know, a good bleach scrubbing will get rid of it. I didn't want to deal with that. So I washed it out in the sink and then when I did the conditioner, I washed that out in the, in the tub and I had no issue with that. So um, let me know what you think. I also read that with each wash, it doesn't fade, but it, it brightens up. So I'll expect that the purple will get lighter eventually, so it looks more purple and less black. And I do expect that this will turn out to be more pinkish. We'll see. I wash my hair once a week or bi-weekly sometimes, well, most often bi-weekly, so I expect that it will last a while. So I'm gonna come back after a few washes, so come back in a month or so for an update. Okay? Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.